willing to sacrifice their lives for our country. But now they are waiting to get the help that they need. A Five on Your Side investigation found Cleveland's Veteran Affairs Office is one of the slowest in the nation. Investigator Sarah Buttison is here tonight with details. Danita, on average, it takes the Department of Veterans Affairs more than one year to process a disability claim. Veterans here in Ohio wait even longer. So I went to work for our veterans to find out why. It wasn't exactly fun. We were inside of an uh, Afghan National Army base. My job was to, uh, I went outside to verify the seals to make sure that the trucks weren't tampered with, no IEDs were put in. Um, so I had to climb on the truck, check the four seals on top. Then when I was climbing down the ladder, it was, uh, it broke and I fell. Wearing 100 pounds of equipment, the fall severely injured Sergeant William Blessing's back and left the Army National Guardsmen in constant pain. On a level of uh, one to 10, like the, the doctors use, it's like a seven right now. Is that normal? Pretty much. It's, it hurts every, all day, every day. He filed a disability claim with the Department of Veterans Affairs. My initial claim was in October of 2011. This August, it was still being processed. Probably one of the toughest things was when he was diagnosed. Jeannie Soli's husband had pancreatic cancer, linked to exposure to Agent Orange. He um, spent 21 years in the Marine Corps. He a uh, Vietnam vet. He loved the Corps. John Soli filed a disability claim in May of 2010. This is his paperwork. More than two years later, John passed away. His claim was still being processed. It's what my husband was entitled to. And not just my husband, but all of those veterans that have served this country honorably. Their stories are not unique. On average, it takes the Cleveland Regional VA office 464 days to process a disability claim for cash benefits. That means a claim filed on September 1st of this year won't be finished until December of next year. That's about three months longer than the national average. In fact, we found 43 out of the 55 other offices process claims more quickly than Cleveland, making this one of the slowest offices in the United States. We all recognize veterans are waiting too long for claims decisions. Joyce Cange is the director of the Cleveland Regional Office. She says her staff works the oldest claims first, which drives up the average days to complete a claim. And it is our passion and it is our plan to drive that number down and get quick decisions with high quality. She and Assistant Undersecretary Beth McCoy allowed us inside the Cleveland office to explain why claims take so long to process. There are many factors. The department is still in the process of going paperless. This is one file. There are thousands more like it. On top of that, there are more vets asking for benefits. In 2009, the VA expanded eligibility to thousands of vets affected by PTSD and Agent Orange. We've sent a man to the moon. We should be able to figure out how to make things simpler. Congressman Jim Renacci regularly receives calls from frustrated vets. He says the VA needs to be more efficient. When we have veterans who are willing to put their life on the line, men and women, we need to make sure when they come back we're taking care of them. Here in Ohio and nationally, we have implemented mandatory overtime. Uh, we're working really hard to work our oldest cases first. In September, just shy of two years from when he asked for help, the VA accepted some of Will's claims and sent him a check. It came just in time. His bank was about to foreclose on his home. They provide the carriage, just you have to wait. Congressman Jim Renacci received so many complaints. He's held two forums this year to give vets a chance to voice their concerns. Senator Sherrod Brown has also addressed the issue, holding roundtable discussions around the state with vets and their supporters. On your side, working for Northeast Ohio and its military veterans, I'm Investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5.